In this screencast, I'm going to show you how to restore your iPhoto and iTunes libraries. So here I am on my newly updated laptop. I, prior to this, backed up my iPhoto and iTunes libraries. I also changed the name of them. If you don't remember how to do that, you can single click on the desired uh, file or folder to change, hit return, type what you want, hit return again, and that changes the file name. So these are on my external hard drive. I want to put them back onto the computer. So with having this external hard drive open, or you might have saved them to your flash drive or your first.last user folder, you want to have that location open. Then go up to File, New Finder Window. And on this Finder Window, I'm going to point to the Music area. Actually, let's do Photos first. We'll do Pictures. So in the Pictures area, this is where I have to put the Kafka iPhoto library so that it's put back in the correct spot. So I'm just going to go drag it from my external hard drive and drop it into the pictures area. And there's Kafka iPhoto library. I'm going to do the same thing with music. I'm going to take the Kafka iTunes library from my external hard drive and drag it to the music area. And there the library is now back on the computer. And I still have the backup on my external hard drive. I'll probably delete that later. Um, you know, if I back this up again at some point. Before doing the next steps, be sure to eject any flash drive or external hard drive that you might have used to back up your stuff. You don't want to open the wrong library by accident. So in this next step, I'm going to show you how to correctly open the library that you want to open back up. I'm going to go open iPhoto. If it's not on your dock, you can go to the Applications area and look under the eyes for iPhoto before launching it make sure you're holding down the option key on the keyboard so if I'm holding option and I double click iPhoto what this does is it forces iPhoto to ask me if I want to choose a specific library or create a new library so it sees here with the Kafka iPhoto library so I'm gonna click on that one to select it and hit choose and now that iPhoto library will open back up. I didn't have that many pictures in here, but that's all lined back up. Now any photos I save or download will automatically save into this Kafka iPhoto library. And you only have to hold option that, that first time. Every time I open iPhoto from here going forward, I do not have to hold the option key down. I'm going to do the same thing for iTunes. I'm going to find iTunes either in the applications area or I've already put it on my dock. I'm going to hold option and click on iTunes. And there it gives me a choice, create a library or choose a library. I'm going to choose a library, and I'm going to navigate to my music area. And I'm going to click on Kafka iTunes library and hit open, and that library will open back up. And everything that I had, music, movies, apps, will all be in their correct spots. So that is how you restore your iPhoto and iTunes libraries. Thanks so much for watching.